Hello, John McLaughlin again. Welcome to another Crossfire Gold trading strategy. We're going to be trading gold on the five minute time frame. Um, before we get started today, what I want to say is thank you to all the people who have subscribed over the last few weeks, uh, last couple of months, uh, while you've been watching the content. Um, thank you to all the people that have uh, given me comments and feedback about what we do. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, the, the content that I produce is a result of of you give me the give me the comments and the feedback. So you know, keep it coming. If there's anything that you'd like to see uh, in terms of trading gold and, and what we do here, uh, then let me know and I can get it produced. So the other thing is, if you get some benefit from this, then please consider subscribing to the channel and of course comment, like, and share. All right, here's a session. Let's get started. Welcome to another crossfire strategy session on gold we're going to be trading gold in the us dollar uh, my name is john mclaughlin it's 1300 and it's the 7th of july 2022 um, what you see on the screen in front of you is gold on the 15 minute and the five minute time frame we're going to be trading between uh, 1300 and 1500 and what we've seen what i like to do when i come on the charts is just go back and see what's happened over the last say 24 hours or so and this is a 15 minute time frame and as you can see gold has continued to go i mean the last couple of days it's uh, it's dropped from you know 1800 an average of 1800 dollars an ounce uh, now it's going down to it's about 17 1743 an ounce so it's dropping significantly um and what I looked at is is why is why is gold doing that, <clears throat> and you know I have lots of questions about things. All I do is I go to Google, I I go why is gold going down, and it'll give you an idea. And what I've come up with is I've got mining mining dot com, okay, and it's telling me the story that I've just told you about uh, gold going down. Um, people are selling off gold because they're worried about a recession. Um, they're also saying that the power, the dollar is increasing uh, its strength um, because of rising interest rates. So that's a, a reason why gold is going down. But because we trade it, uh, it doesn't really matter. We're not investors. We trade it. So we win on the way up if we're in a win trade, if we're in a buy trade, and vice versa if we're in down for the sell. You know, so if we were investors in gold right now, you know, we'd be getting a bit worried, uh, thinking what's going to happen. Maybe we'll get out because gold is uh, depreciating in value. But when we trade it, we were in a win-win situation. Um, so let me just uh, show you what we've got here. So yesterday, uh, this was the session. Let me just see if I can make it a bit bigger for you so you can see it. This was a session. This little box on here represents uh, 1300 and 1500 GMT. Um, and as you can see, just around this level here, we've got the Ninja Down Alert. It's below the trend line, and we had a big sell-off. And these levels here, if you're watching the previous uh, sessions that were recorded, these are levels of imbalance. And I always like to use imbalance, and I like to use the moving averages um, to give me an indication of where price may go. Um, so the previous uh, session we were in this trade here we used the imbalance as a take profit level and then it shot through and went even further down um, the session yesterday we got into the trade it went down to the imbalance again that was another take profit level and it kind of very similar kind of pattern we've got a excuse me a minute We've got further imbalance down here where it's just touched it um, and today we've got um, quite a lot of news so we're gonna have a check of the news uh, we put the trend lines on so if you're not familiar with this strategy it's really simple in that we put a box on if I'll show you how to do that right now we'll get things set up ready for 1315 so we put the alerts, we put the indicators on the 15 minute time frame. So all we're going to do is put a box. <coughs> Excuse me. So we want it 1300 and 1500. And I want to take those extension lines off. Okay. 
I'll just lock it. So that just indicates the session that we're going to be trading. And sometimes uh, it takes a little bit of time to get the markets warmed up. As you can see here, this is uh, high uh, high impact news. So it might something might happen straight away. Next thing we need to do is put the trend lines on. So all I'm going to do is do that with the trend line. Just put it on the chart for now. Uh, we'll make that one green. And then at 13.15, which is uh, for, uh, nine minutes time, then we'll go and put these trend lines on uh, and then we can start trading. Let's go and have a look at the news. They say 90% of all success in trading is psychology. If you've lost trades by chasing trades, over leveraging or second guessing your strategy, then you are acting from your emotional brain. The part of your brain called the monkey brain. It makes you act without thinking and then calls your names for losing. Access my brand new resource, Teaching the Monkey to Trade. This training is designed to improve consistency and results, teaching you proven NLP techniques. You'll also get access to an exclusive interview with trader and master NLP practitioner about learning 90% of what it takes to succeed. Get free access to the resource and interview by clicking the direct link in the description below. So my FX book, I like to use that one. Um, let's see what we've got coming up. So in 23 minutes, a quarter past, uh, half past one, high impact news, high impact news, a lot of high impact news there. Uh, we've also got medium impact news in 23, <coughs> excuse me, 23 minutes. So as you can see, there's a whole abundance of US news for today. And what I've found generally with uh, with gold is when there's no news, okay, there's no real reason for the markets to move, i.e. be manipulated by uh, these banks that are changing the, uh, the interest rates. So uh, lots of news, if you're trading Forex pairs, sometimes it can make the, the pairs a little bit unpredictable. Um, but with gold, it makes it more volatile. So for us trading this strategy, uh, we put the indicators on the 15 minute and we take our trade ideas and we get in, we enter and exit the trade on the five minute. So it's very volatile, it moves very quickly. Um, and I've got a feeling today, as soon as, I always say this, I've got a feeling and sometimes it just changes. Um, but when the, when the high impact news comes in at 13.30, uh, we're gonna see some interest in price action so we've got everything set up as far as we can until 13.15 we'll go and open MT4 MT4, MT5, C panel whatever you use just get it open get it ready so just have a look at the uh, the other the other sort of indicators that we've got on here we've got the moving averages okay so this is the this grey line is the 800 moving average uh, the blue line here is the 200 and then I've got other moving averages here, uh, the, the 5, 13, uh, and the 50. And sometimes with the moving averages, they can act as a magnet, depending on what price is doing. Um, so it can give us a nice take profit level, um, in the same way that imbalance can as well. Um, but remember, for this strategy, if you, if you, the, the sweet spot I found for safety and for kind of real reliability if you like to get consistent with this is to take 10 pips in profit 10 pips and you adjust your lot size accordingly um, and it, it kind of works a lot better when you get slightly more uh, knowledgeable about 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 it <clears throat> and you understand price action <clears throat> excuse me and you know which way the price is reacting to different things to different uh, metrics uh, then we can consider taking more pips uh, based on the price action at the time so and I'll show you what I mean by that and if you've seen some of the previous uh, videos that I've done some of the previous trains that I've done you know I've taken profits at imbalance levels I've taken profits at the moving averages and they've always worked out really well um, but it does depend on uh, what the price is doing at the time so the other indicators that I have on here as well as the moving averages I like to use the the multi time frame stochastic all that does, it's an oscillator and it gives me an idea of what price may do. It's not a predictor, okay, it's not, uh, you know, it's not a crystal ball, uh, but it's a lagging indicator. So it tells me, you know, where price is 
and you know what what it's hoping to do. So, <coughs> excuse me. If you see these lines here, okay, right up here, this is telling me that the price in this state is in the extreme. So it's been overbought, and then price should want to come back down. And in, indeed, it came back down. So this relates to this move here. It came back down. And at the moment, it's going back up into the overbought. So in terms of the stochastic in this time frame, it's telling me it may want to go for a sell. Um, and what we do, we just put all these different probability stacks together, all these different uh, levels of, of congruency. Um, so what we want, we want everything to be lined up. So we want the, the moving averages to line up. We want the stochastic to line up. Um, everything wants to be lined up. And I'll explain more as, as we get into the trade. Uh, 13.11. So we've got four minutes before we can put these trend lines on. And uh, one of the biggest takeaways I would say with gold is just be patient. You know, get yourself in a position where you're just sat waiting. You don't want to be chasing you don't want to be stressed you don't want to be um, worried about missing out and so many people worry about missing out and they see a big move and it'll be, it'll be a big push and they'll think i've missed out on that trade you know but there is always other opportunities and remember you you always when you're trading gold or you're trading generally you would rather be out of a trade wishing you were in rather than being in a trade wishing you were out okay so just bear that in mind and remember, everything to do with trading is all about risk management, uh, protecting your account, and uh, and being sensible. So yeah, the only other indicators that I've got on here, obviously I've got the Ninjicator software, so um, bespoke built uh, software for trading view that's been built by our community. So as you can see, you've got uh, Ninja up and Ninja down, and also we've got a moving average, uh, it's a 13 moving average. And as you can see this one here, this moving average is red and then it will change to green when conditions or certain conditions have been met uh, for, for a sell or a buy. Um, so that's that's really good. And also the, the PSAR, the parabolic stop and reverse. Um, and what we've got here is the PSAR underneath the candle, which means the indication is the the candle the price wants to go up okay now if we're looking at this and we want to go for a sell then the price has to come down has to touch this piece are the piece then flips on top and pushes the candle down it doesn't actually push the candle down but it gives an indication of where price is going um, and then we line everything up uh, to see to see the you know what the price action is doing and <coughs> whether we should going for the buy or the sell right one minute left before this candle finishes repainting and then we can put the trend lines on and all we're looking for is for the green trend line we're looking for the higher high next to this candle and for the red trend line we're looking for the lower low next to this candle okay so at the moment as you can see there's a wick on there let me make this a bit bigger just so I can see it as well so there's the wick. So the next, unless the price goes way above, the next higher high is the top of this wick. So I'll put the magnet tool on, put that on, and that's there, it, that's there ready. It might change, but I don't think so. So the lower low, for this one, the wick is here. All right, for this one, the lower low is this green candle there. That goes on there. <coughs> that goes on there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll stop the cigars. Okay, 13.15, that next candle is done, so we'll put this on. So what? we'll take the magnet off, and we're going to place this trend line on top of the green wick. See that? Just there. Top of that green wick, just there. And the same for the cell, we're going to put it on the bottom of the wick. It's just there. Just here. Right. And you can see straight away, look, what's, what's the first thing that jumps out to me is that all these wicks are, are, are respecting this trend line. So it goes up to there and it bounces back, didn't quite touch it.
pushed through it and came back. So that gives me more confidence that the trend lines are in the right position and it gives you confidence in the, the strategy just generally. So what I like to do as well is I like to put the lines on the news. Just gives me a bit more of a visual uh, to see what might happen when the news kicks in, uh, which is now, uh, which is interesting. But looking at uh, the the calendar, it was more fifteenth. No, it was more thirteen thirty. Okay, so thirteen thirty is when we want to be mindful, and that's here. That's on this this line here. So. If price continues to go up beyond this green trend line and creates a new candle, I don't like it when there's kind of it's dragging its feet below. I like the price to go up. I like the to be a separation between the green trend line and the candle, and then we'll see what price action does. Um, and you can tell if that price action is positive or whether it's in consolidation. As you can see right now, there's a little bit of consolidation going on, um, which always happens um, before news. Or well, mainly happens before news. <clears throat> so we've got two minutes left in this time frame, and this is the time when most people would, would, would suddenly jump in and go, look, price is going up, we need to get in, need to get in. Price is going up, I'm going to get in, I'm in. And then price will come back down. And it'll put you into drawdown. So this, this for me, when I'm looking at this, this is more manipulation to take people out their stop losses, um, because what you'll probably find is that price will come down um, and do its own thing when it gets to the news. So just watch this for a minute. We've got a minute and twenty nine left on this on this time frame. <coughs> That blue line is a 200 moving average, and uh, as you can see, price has respected that on the way. is all the way up here well, that's kind of interesting interesting but uh, that's all we're going to say about that we're not going to make any assumptions about the 800 for now <coughs> as you can see we've got more <coughs> excuse me more sudden spikes and again this I'm pretty sure you know, when you see this sort of thing, it's just teasing people to get in the trade um, to take out people's stop losses. But we'll see. You can see it went up and it's come straight back down again. So if this starts to go, see, if it's above the green trend line, then I'm still considering the buy because it's above the trend line. If it go below the trend line, then I'm no longer interested. Now we're looking at the sell opportunity. So it's going to hit the PSR. The PSR, it might hover around this area here because this is a, an area of, of uh, resistance for this, for this candle. It hasn't quite taken out this dot yet. So it's going to take out this dot. That'll go to the top. There you go. Now it's, now it's done its thing. But we've still got half the candle back in there. What I want to see is a new candle to form and then go down but we've got all this news we've got all this news so we don't know what's going to happen just think if we'd have got in here with these happy little moves we'd have been in the trade wishing we were out instead of just being patient and this this has got a similar uh, what's the word trend it's a similar move it's a similar feel to this 
where it'll come all the way down and then it'll probably come all the way back up again and it'll hover around there and when the news comes in it will make its decision or the banks will because it's the banks that are manipulating the price so three three minutes left on this time frame um, the stochastic at the moment for the five minute that's lining up better for the sell because it's, it, it's at the top what you want is the time frames to come to the top this will be a good situation uh, we've still got a couple of stragglers but you know it's always nice to get those into the extreme and uh, <clears throat> and see that so starting to curl down because we've got this move here um, but I'm still not still not getting in the trade because there's too much uh, indecision too much volatility in, in different directions um, and if you got into this trade you'd be in profit you'd be in drawdown you'd be in profit you'd be in drawdown and you wouldn't know what the hell you were doing so just to confirm we get in this in the trade for a sell when the price goes below the red trend line that we put on previously um, we need the ninja down let me just check there's a ninja down I don't think there is a ninja down no so we haven't got we haven't got the conditions haven't been met yet so we're looking for the ninja down we want the stochastic to be more into the extreme but again it's uh, not essential so we've got a minute and 27 left on this time frame and I'm still even even if the price goes along we've got uh, what have we got five uh, ten no, seven minutes before the news kicks in if the price I think what's gonna happen is the price will will hover will hover around this area on the next candle and then it'll make its move it will show its move possibly with the news I mean that's a big push down this this push down from from where it was previously is 45 say an average of 40 pips and we know it takes an average of 10 million dollars to move a pip so you can just see what what volume has been put into the market you know and uh, that isn't retail traders that's that's banks you know manipulating things the other thing to consider as well is also this previous imbalance um, if we're going to see a further push down this imbalance from here to here and this is from September um, of last year um, they may want to take this imbalance out as well okay so we've got ninja down but that ninja down can also disappear because price can can go to the upside and I'm not uh, I'm not really gonna be doing anything until this this news kicks in and I said before the price will probably hover um, around that that area and seem seems to be what it's doing but gold is a gold is a volatile thing and uh, particularly in times like this particularly in times when the economy is unstable I mean really the co economies are always unstable that's how they're made but uh, you know gold can move literally in a in a in a blink um, so you just got to be ready for that and trade accordingly so with the ninja down as well you on the five minute it always acts as a early warning system um, if you were going to set alerts if you were going to set an alert you would set the alert on the five minute you would walk away you would do whatever you're going to do go back to work um, when the alert comes through on your phone uh, then you can have a look it's a like early warning system um, and then you could look at the 15 minute as well and just see what's happening um, the the point of what I'm saying there is that just because you've got a ninja down alert doesn't mean you're getting straight away and as you can see right now price is is indecisive because everyone's waiting for the news yeah you know, one of the things when you're trading is that you need to stick to your strategy 100% if you think you're gonna outwit the strategy that you've 
that you're doing or uh, you think you're going to get into I'm just looking at this here thinking well you know maybe I could have got in okay and and you know taking some pips I could have took 50 pips out of that but all you're doing is gambling uh, if you do that you know so are you a trader are you a professional trader do you want to be a professional trader who, who trades consistently and confidently every day or however, however much you want to trade or are you a gambler who sometimes makes massive wins and most days just takes bigger losses um, you, know, you want to be a trader you need to be uh, calculating in your in what you do and all we'll do now we're just waiting for the news we've got uh, what, a minute and 12 left to see what's going to happen so we're patient we're waiting we're ready we're in a position to act if we need to let's see what happens right I think I want to get in for the buy sorry for the sell the sell uh, price I think is going to continue down so we'll get in for the sell see what happens in terms of stop losses um, people sometimes will say just get in uh, put your stop loss up here but this is far too far away uh, for that um, what I would say is put it just above the trend line because the trend line or the trend line certainly acts as a is a good resistance level so just above the trend line so somewhere about here would be be about right for that um, and again with with the five minute time frame because it acts so quickly um, I, what I find is I am my own stop loss because I'm watching the trade um, so I can see what's happening and uh, that works that works fine for me uh, my recommendation is if you if you're not quite sure um, first of all go on a demo account uh, and secondly uh, work out your own uh, lot size and your risk to reward ratio and also uh, calculate your stop loss at one percent of your overall account uh, because you don't want to be risking any more than one percent just one thing to note while we're looking at this uh, trade is we've got imbalance down here and I've also identified imbalance from we've got imbalance down at uh, 1678 an ounce We've got imbalance at 16.34 on March 2020, um, and then even further down here, <coughs> imbalance from June 2019, uh, which is crazy. So could you know could gold go down to 1300 an ounce? It's quite possible. Certainly, they were predicting uh, or talking about. Going under eighteen hundred a little while ago, <coughs> and it's below that now. And when you consider, you know, gold was at uh, was over just over two thousand an ounce a few uh, a few weeks ago. It just shows you the volatility and uh, the way the economy is going. So, so we're starting to go down, but again, it's uh, it's not not particularly definitive it's not a particularly strong push you can see now we had the uh, the ninja down at 13 was it 1325 just here and we just had the ninja down on the 15 minute uh, 13 1330 so in terms of probability stacks we're still lining up for the sell we're up and then we'll kind of break even and we're up and then we draw down they'll break even um, that's just the way it goes but we're still up at the moment stochastic on the five minute is showing as it's starting to go into the extreme uh, for the sell so it's telling us it's been oversold um, but the 15 minute it's sort of in the uh, sort of upper upper regions of the stochastic so should be okay on that but again stochastic's a lagging indicator uh, it's not a predictor this is the time when really your patience get tested because you you as soon as you hit the as soon as you go into a trade 
because of the broker spread you you've been to drawdown and then you're into profits and then you're back into into break even then you're into five pips profit then you're into you know so it goes up and down up and down and if you don't get your psychology checked then you'll be up five pips, six pips, seven pips, and you go, yay, great. And then it'll be down minus five, and you go, oh my God, oh, what's going on? Then it'll be up five and down five, and, and then the next time it goes up five, I think, I'll just get out. But the strategy isn't that. The stra strategy isn't get out because you're trying to make a bit of profit. The strategy is to make 10 pips. Um, and in this circumstance, we just sit and we wait and we're patient, and eventually, if you know we get things right then we'll make a 10 pips we don't always get it right but you know this strategy at the moment you know uh, the win rate is over 90 percent uh, two there's been a couple of occasions where I've got it wrong because we haven't checked things of human error but the strategy itself has been uh, has been solid in terms of uh, in terms of price in terms of volume Nothing much happened at all now. Lots of indecision. Wonder if that news has made people cautious or or the banks are not really bothering too much and as soon as he says that look comes to life. <laughs> but usually gold is a lot more volatile than this. Um, there is further news coming up. And there is some higher priority news coming up later on at uh, 6 o'clock. But remember, all we need is 10 pips. We don't have to go mad. Uh, so there's news. We've had the news at uh, 3.30. The next news is at 3 o'clock. At 1.30, the next news is at 3 o'clock. Oh, no, it's not. So that's Canadian. Uh, 15.30, low priority. <laughs> Sometimes with gold, you know, it's nice to be able to get into a trade. And I think the the quickest trade we've been in on whilst we've been on these sessions is uh, is 15 seconds, which was uh, which was good. And that was 10 pips and I think it was about 10 or 11 pips and out. But sometimes you just got to be patient and just got to wait. Um, you know, if you're in this position and you're at work and you run out of time, you go, oh, I've only got a, an hour lunch break. Um, set your take profit level, set your stop loss um, and, and get on with it. That's it really. Uh, let the trade do its own thing. But whatever you do, don't manage your own stop loss and then walk away because you'll blow your account <laughs> you'll blow your account all right so be very cautious and, and look at the way it's, it's moved now it's shot up now it's shot down and it's only shooting sort of 10 pips at a time um, but well now is for price to just carry on down give us them 10 pips and we'll call it a day Almost there. There we go. That's done. Good. That's it. We're done. Uh, was twelve, just over twelve pips. Um, and yeah, this this price could continue to shoot down. Um, but today, for me, I mean, this this price could continue going all the way down. But for me, I'm quite happy that that's that's me done. Profit's done for the day. Right, good. So thirteen forty-eight uh, took us forty-eight minutes to uh, to get that trade. And uh, what I'll do as well, I'll come back at the end. I always like to come back at the end of the session, or any anything that's of benefit to you, you guys watching this. Um, you know, when when it goes to the to the news, what happens at the news? And you can see here, didn't really have a massive impact um, on the news. So. Maybe it will impact further here. But anyway, we'll come back at the end of the session. We'll come back at 1500 or thereabouts 
uh, give you a bit of a, a summary of what happened uh, on the crossfire strategy. So uh, we'll come back uh, at the end of the session. Hi there, we're back. Okay, it's uh, 1427 and um, let me just show you very quickly. This is the five minute time. That's it. This is the five minute time frame on gold. Uh, this is where we got out the trade. Um, it was one of those days where it was a it was a, pen, a ten pip day. <coughs> the strategy is taking ten pips, um, and price came a little bit further down and then pushed to the upside. Now, as you can see here with this red trend line, this is now offering resistance. This this price action here, so it's acting as a ceiling. It can't push through. Um, and what I think is going to happen is I think price is going to skirt around this area and push to the upside and that may give us again potential buy opportunity for gold um, you know my, my thoughts right now is that if you've been following this or if you if you've already taken your, your profits for the day do you want to get into another trade and the thing is with the crossfire strategies because it is so reliable and because we we know what we're doing in terms of trading if the opportunity presents itself then we're going to take it if if we want to, that's really it. Do we want to take the trade? Yes or no? There's no. We we know the risks involved. Um, we know that. Uh, you know we know what we're doing. So the other thing to look at is that the strategy says that we go above the green trend line to get into a buy. Now the thing is with this configuration, what I don't want to do is end up in this area here. Okay, between there, where you've got support and resistance pushing in both in both angles okay what I want price to do is to push above the red trend line and then keep above the trend line so I want what I'm looking for is this sort of thing so price comes up okay it may well come down it then comes up and then continues going to the upside like this okay and that's a sort of that's the sort of push I'll be looking for and I would get into the trade when price is clear of this uh, of this um, trend line, what I don't like is when the candle or price is kind of dragging its feet and it's got like like uh, this red candle here. Okay, I didn't get into that because it started way up here. It pushed down. Half of it is in no man's land, and half of it is kind of where I want it. But what I want is the the air, the separation, the gap between the candle and the trend line. That's what I'm looking for. So the next challenge for me is getting rid of these drawings. And the brush tool, it just puts stuff everywhere. Okay, so you see how it's it's teased it and it come down and it's touched that, that red trend line, that, that resistance line. So, and then it's come down and it's kind of approached it and now it's come back and it's touched it again it wants to go and that's what it's telling me it wants to push up the piece is at the bottom there's a big gap between the piece and the body of the candle which means there's a fair old bit of volume in the market um, we've got the the 200 moving average just above um, so we know that the, the moving averages when they're in the right position uh, they act as a magnet for price and the other thing you can see all the way up there is the 800 moving average and because price has moved down so quickly over the last two or three days this is the average price of the last 800 candles and it's way up there still so you know does price want to go above and try and go back to that area or does it want to go further down take out more of this imbalance and that's the question we if we knew the answer to that question I would be doing this session from my private jet but I'm I'm giving you this session from my private office <laughs> in my private house so my mindset right now once I get the uh, once I can see the chart properly my mindset really is do I want to get into a trade am I really interested in getting into a trade because I've taken profits uh, what is this price going to do? Uh, if I know it wants to push up, I know it wants to go, um, but it it may just 
may just tease us. And uh, the other thing is I've got a lot of other work to do today. So now I see it's pushing up above that trend line. Uh, well, we've got two minutes left on this time frame. So it's looking like we may be able to get into a buy opportunity uh, in a in a couple of minutes. Uh, we've got the ninja up. The stochastic is approaching the extreme, but remember the last when we got into this trade here, the stochastic was already touching the extreme. So the stochastic is nice to look at, and it's nice to get that confluence uh, with the other indicators, but it's not essential. It's just it's just something that you can look at for your own, I won't say for your own entertainment and amusement, but just for your own uh, peace of mind. And you say price is coming back down again. I know what's going to happen with this. It's going to it's just going to tease this area. Right. Okay. I made a decision. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm not gonna be tempted to get into another trade. Um, so we'll, we'll leave the trading for today. We've taken ten. Uh, we've taken twelve pips, uh, which is which is perfectly acceptable for a for a strategy where you take ten pips as your profit. Uh, I'll get on with some work and we'll come back. We'll come back at the end of a session just to show you what's happened, and uh, we'll talk soon. Okay, so we're back. It's fifteen sixteen, and I just want to give you a little bit of a, a summary of what happened during the session. So, if you've seen if you've seen the whole session, you'll know what happened. So, we got into the trade. Uh, yeah, we got into the trade about here. We got out the trade about here with twelve pips in profit, and I was considering getting into the buy situation around here. And I did say before we've got this uh, this trend line, the red trend line which is offering resistance for this price action here. So resistance, resistance, resistance. Finally, it broke out of that and then went to the upside. And we need to, we don't want to be in this situation where we're between the green and the red trend line. We want to be above uh, both of them. Okay, and that's what happened. And if we just measure this, went up to about 30, yeah, 33 pips. Um, I didn't get into this trade, I was doing other things. But what you'll notice, and this is really important as well, is that it's on this line. What's this line here? This is a level of imbalance uh, from the previous session. You can see how price not only respected the trend lines, but also respected the imbalance and took out that imbalance. Okay. So, you know, potentially with this trading uh, day between 1300 and 1500. Uh, we took 12 pips and we could have taken a further say 35 pips um, but uh, you know I'm happy with with what I've done profits for the day um, have been have been done and that's fine um, yeah I mean crossfire gold it's such a, a simple and reliable strategy um, using the indicator using the moving averages uh, the stochastic to give you a bit more of an overview, um, putting the imbalance areas on there, and also the the trend lines. You know, it's so simple and yet so effective. Um, so, you know, if you want to know more about uh, learning trading, learning this particular strategy, um, first thing you can do, you can go and visit. Uh, well, the first thing you can do is yeah. First, so the first thing you can do is go and. Uh, join my Facebook page Forex Fit where I teach you a bit more about that um, a bit more in detail and you know if you want to know anything send me a message you know I'm, I'm not doing these uh, these sessions purely for my own entertainment these this is uh, so you can learn this you can learn the strategy um, you know and take profits for yourself you know learn trading for yourself um, so that's what it's all about it's all about sharing sharing the goodness okay so i hope you've enjoyed that session hope you've uh, followed along and uh, we'll see you on the next session all right bye for now mm -hmm.